Alrighty, ladies and gentlemen, we have the 4.7 live stream six hours later. Seven hours later? Well, like seven hours later. But we haven't seen anything about it yet. I did see the thumbnail of this video, though. The thumbnail did have Dane in it. 1080p audio. Ah. He comes and goes without leaving a trace, only appearing at the most critical moments. Hey, it's Zach. He's highly knowledgeable, and he likes to share his observations with others. She has a cold and stern Sweet exterior, me? and her spotless battle record has earned her renown throughout Fontaine. She is an unusual looking Melusine with an equally unique perspective on the world. And now, their voice actors have all gathered here today to deliver the version 4.7 special program. Ayo! Woo! Can't believe we're actually Looks all like here. <laughs> Hello, travelers. My name bunch is of random Zach Aguilar, animals. and I voice the male traveler. Today, our hosts for the special program include... Hello, everybody. I'm Yuri Lowenthal, He's the voice back. of Dainsley. You may know me from all those new character intro videos and occasionally he's dropping been, he's been in these, y'all. right? Yeah, he's been and in these. And I'm Sarah Williams, the voice of the head nurse at the Fortress of Maripede, Sejuine. She's there wow. keeping everybody all healthy and nice and making sure everybody feels good. And hey, everyone. She makes her voice so the squeaky. Voice of Fontaine's champion duelist, Clorand. Crystal Lee. You, let's get it. All right, nice. <laughs> so we've got a traveler, a man of mystery, a duelist, and a healer. Pew, 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 I think it's the get perfect it. adventuring party. <laughs> huh? Uh, what a wild coincidence, you guys! Oh, I, I just received like an invitational letter to a new domain. Yeah, that's yeah, not a coincidence. Yeah, imagine that. Gee <laughs> where did that come that's from? That's just destiny. Yeah. Definitely. You know, this, this like new domain seems a to be right behind us, patch. but in order to complete the challenge, we'll need to tackle several missions first. Well, then what are we waiting for? Let's do this. Let's do it. Trailer? Traveler? Paimon? Would you join us and play Mar Chausse Hunter Judgment Day? Who's talking? This script was adapted from the real history of the Maro Shose Hunters. You all will play the role of hunters from a bygone era and resolve a series of events unfolding in the capital. Okay, more filming. Many of my habits are customs I've adopted from the Maro Shose Hunter tradition. They fought against monsters, while I fight against lawbreakers. For when I draw my blade, I am but an instrument of Fontaine's law. Jeez, seems like it's been so long for Clarin. It really has been. Loaded. Time right. to testify. Oh, that's the first? Oh. Madam Mage says that every page oh, of a storybook that. is a segment of the present. It's so vast and mysterious. There must be quite Settles. a story behind this place. He lost so, his power. <laughs> I'll explore this place with you to the end. Let's never stop hoping for victory. Way ahead of you. So how are you doing? Oh, I guess yeah. Move or be moved. Ooh, it's like a. Doubt your fighting ability, of course. Electro Yoi Mia. So much more dangerous in there than I ever imagined. Oh my god. Uh, well, if it hurts, just let me know. Pills. Let's blow bubbles. Okay, what in the world, Cedarine? This is very fitting for her character. Just relax. A strange disease, one oh. I suspect that every Fontanian suffers from. Oh no. But they don't trust me at all. Do you really think it matters whether I'm Melazine or a human? I don't believe Master would suddenly disappear for no reason. There must have been something she just had to do. In the new world, they bade farewell to the shrouded sun. At last. They no longer needed to dwell on their suffering oh. or try to differentiate between various thoughts of blasphemy. Such was the price they paid, and thus their souls became cleansed and pure. Dang, it's been so long since the last Dane. The way he's holding his sword, he must be a real Mara Chose hunter. You used it yourself, didn't you? That's why you have a human appearance. That's quite the gamble. What is going on? I am the one walking into a trap. One day, no! I shall have my vengeance. Are we going to fight him? Captain Dainsleff could accomplish his own goal. The loom of fate has already been completed. <laughs> S 
Stop. Traveler, Stop. let me ask you this. Do you believe your sibling to have betrayed you? Stop. You got me a 4.4. Not again. Stop. Stop the cap. That was a... Uh, one of the more confusing ones. They like to do their trailers where there's dialogue from different parts and they're all mashed together. Kind of like a Marvel trailer. So you never know what exactly they were talking about. But Dane confirmed. Dane is in there. And some kind of like little plushy thing. <laughs> but it looked like we got to see everybody's skills and stuff. What was this about warning me? Yeah, 4.6 was mostly just the drop, like Arlequino's drop for the most part, really. Um, everything else wasn't really too crazy. I forgot it's not live. <laughs> Alright. Let's go. Oh, it looks like our first mission is here. <laughs> Fancy that. Assemble Zach is back. Team. Oh, I get it. Our first mission is to introduce the new characters. All right, this is getting exciting. So who's All first? Right then. Well, how about we start off by introducing Fontaine's strongest champion duelist, Cloran. <laughs> you would say that. <laughs> I like I like the VA, like the actual In person. My as champion duelist, my opinions do not matter. She's fun. For when I draw my blade, I am but an instrument of Fontaine's law. <laughs> All right, backflip kick. Ready. These did look cool, but you, oh, oh yeah, she does use the gun. Thank you, goodness. I was gonna say she doesn't use the gun. Shoot on sight. And that animation is actually kind of insane. Whoa. <laughs> like the burst is nuts. So good, that ultimate is so cool. Mm -hmm. That really is actually Karen's nice. Karen's strength actually has a really interesting origin. She inherited it from the Marashose hunters. Ooh, the hunters from the These artifacts. These floaty animations. Set. Mm -hmm. The Marashose Hunters were an organization that defeated monsters and upheld justice from the shadows. Where was she running I think the to? The like... name has also been mentioned in some of Fontaine's historical records. Exactly. It's like towers the behind Marashose her. Hunters have a long history. To modern day Fontanians, they're nothing more than an old legend from novels and plays. But for Clarand, the Marashose Hunters legacy is really real. Clarand. If travelers want to learn more about the Marashose Hunters, then be sure to check out Clarand's story quest in the new version. I want to learn more about God, she's so hunters. late, bro. Perfect. Then let's get she's into her so abilities. late to the Fontaine Clarence cast. Rised as an electro sword user, but she actually uses both a sword and a pistolet to attack her enemies during combat. It looks satisfying. Now, her normal attack deals physical damage by performing up to five consecutive strikes. During uh -huh. her charged attack, like the chain. uses her pistolet to target enemies in a V shape in front of her. Mm. Also, Wait, Grand has what? developed a special ritual. Did, did, they, did they show that? She always polishes her weapon before each duel. That is so dignified. Damn thing is long. Know, Ryan, kind of adorable. Even the champion <laughs> duelist of Fontaine has a cute side, huh? Aw. <laughs> <laughs> Sarah is starting to sound just like Sijuin. Oh, what? Though it's probably a meaningful ritual oh, for Clarand, right? That's exactly right. It's a habit that helps Clarand focus on the opponent in front of her. In fact, Clarand's elemental skill, Hunter's Vigil, is an ability Ooh, that demonstrates yeah. how potent Wait, she can be when life? she's focused. Ooh. Check this out. During combat, unleashing Clarand's elemental skill will cause her to enter the Night Vigil state. During this state, oh. Clarand can unleash two different types of special attacks. Her normal attacks will that be does converted look into swift hunt pistolet attacks. I heard some things. I thought it was seizuring with the bond attack. of life. Impale the knight. I'm not even gonna lie. Looks like Clarion gains a bond of life during her elemental skill. I does thought it was seizuring. <laughs> oh, good perception on those eyes. Those swift hunt pistolet attacks increase. So Clarion's she'll bond use of the other set. And her lunging attack, impale the knight, will clear the bond of life. Wait, so oh, that that's a good way to use it. And then clears it with the other. Oh, hey, that's a really good The pistol gives you bond, yeah, and then the sword have clears it. Effects depending on the value of her bond of life. So oh. when her bond of life is, like, relatively low, her swift hunt pistolet attacks have a piercing effect, and they deal greater damage. But okay. when her bond of life is relatively high, her lunging attack, Impale the Knight, has a greater AoE. And Yo, that's actually a, that's a ah, good kit. Gotcha, I get it. So... <laughs> Clarand is meant to use her pistol to accumulate a bond of life and then use her sword to clear it once it reaches a certain amount. And that way, both attacks hmm. benefit each other. This is Bingo. awful. Wow. Though you should remember the effect of one of Clarand's unique talents. 
So when she's in the night vigil state, any healing other than the one provided by her lunging attack, Impale the Night, will be converted into a bond of life. This unique talent allows different Wait. healing effects to alter the pacing of Cloran's gameplay. Her so, healing just gives her bond? A variety of different tactical combinations. That's cool. Also, what? although Clorand is most renowned as a champion duelist, she has never forgotten her identity as a Mara Shose hunter. So, M maybe I missed elemental it. Elemental burst, last lightfall. Clorand draws on her Mara Shose hunter heritage to unleash an ancient skill that empowers mortals to fight deadly monsters. This ability allows her to swiftly evade enemy attacks and strike her opponents. Her burst deals AOE electric oh. damage and grants her a bond of life based on her max HP. I couldn't really tell what the burst so was cool. doing. But if that power is designed to fight monsters, that is such a cool burst, is it though. Is really okay for her to use it in a regular duel? And it's quick and fast, <laughs> Good too. Good point. I think Cloran just has to adjust the uh, amount of force that she puts behind those blows. <laughs> <laughs> that makes sense. Also, Cloran can draw on the strength of her companions hmm. after unlocking her passive talent, Dark Shattering Flame. Man, that sounds cool. <laughs> so, when a nearby Stupid. party member triggers an electro-related reaction, the electro damage dealt by her normal attack and her elemental burst will increase based on her attack value. Just like so, Nouvellet. Note, there is a ceiling to the damage bonus that she can gain from this effect. Clorand also oh, has mind. another <laughs> passive talent called Lawful Remuneration. If her bond of life is greater than or equal to a certain percentage, then a change in her bond of life value will increase her crit rate. That's right. And while she's in the night vigil state, the percentage of Excuse healing me? converted into a bond of life will increase. Wow. Yeah. And finally, she has a very interesting kit. Gives Clorand a strong familiarity with all the regions of Fontaine. So when she's in your party, Cloran can reveal the locations of Fontaine regional oh. sources on the mini map. That's so where they awesome. gave her the Lenny. Yeah, I'm sure the, the Lenny passive. Will be eager to use her to uncover treasure, defeat monsters, and of course. That, that kind of sucks because that's that so, Lenny. That's, that's two five stars without that ability. Pretty stern and composed as a champion, duelist. and no four star. Yet. I wonder how she unwinds. Like, does she have any hobbies? Ooh, mm. sure, she has some interest outside of work. I mean, she's always accepting cosmetic products from Sejuin and making sure. Yeah, they should have gave a four star that ability. Oh, and yeah, of course she does. Clorand is an yeah, active so member cool. of the tabletop troop during her off hours. So, in version 4.7, travelers won't Rapier. just have a chance to learn more about the Mara Shose hunters during her story quest, the Reparia chapter. Rapier. They'll also get to join Clorand on a very special tabletop troop adventure. Woo! I love TTRPGs <laughs> so much. Ooh, I know it I'm takes you out of the immersion yeah. when the VA is talking and, normally. <laughs> uh, with all of that, that is all the information that I have to share about Clorand. It's so, like, hey, I'm Clorand. Next up, let's introduce our adorable little Sijui. Oh yes, yes. Okay. Here we sorry. go. I'm too excited. Hold Let's on. See hold what on, on earth look at she's doing. First. Yes. Cause you I have no idea. Body, so you gotta take care of it. But it's just as important to take care of your mind. Just shooting hearts at him. Oh my gosh. She has the source water droplets. He might be a <laughs> what in the world? <laughs> What is she supposed to? What is she supposed to be? She's so, <laughs> so cute. It's, it's like cotton candy. Wow. I love her pill so Cuteness much. Overload. The bubble has ears on <laughs> it. I love her pill. Ride around on a bubble like that. She's yeah. with her little legs dangling in the air. Yeah, with the bubble gun and the giant syringe. Guys, so cute. <laughs> what in the world? Those bubbles are so big. Well, her kit looks really, really fun. I know, but but yeah, but but if that's the syringe she uses on her patients, I can see why they might be nervous about getting sick. Interesting. <laughs> sure. hey, sometimes you gotta take your medicine. And since she's the head nurse at the Fortress of Maripede, Sijuin wants everyone to stay healthy. She believes that taking care of your body is the most important goal. But she often encounters she had like a, who work I don't know, maybe like the burst zone, heals you? So she always tries to sneak them healthy meals, but she doesn't think that's a substitute for some proper rest. <laughs> oh, doing pretty good. good. Her book. Yeah, seems like you'll need to be well fed and well rested if you want to keep up with Sijuin. <laughs> for sure, <laughs> she seems like such a caring and attentive person. But then what's she like when she fights? Well, Sijuin, I don't think she does loser. fight. Her normal attack unleashes Those up pills, to three consecutive literally. attacks. During the second and third attack, Sijuin takes out a pill and tosses it at her <laughs> opponent. I saw that. That is demo. funny. It's like she's literally telling her opponents to take their medicine. Look at the size of that thing. She can make aimed shots Huge. using her charged attack. 
Once the shot is held and fully charged, Sijuin's bow will fire slow-moving ministration bubbles, hmm. dealing hydro damage to her target. It's going pretty Just good. Just make sure good. not to release her arrow. Oh, and also, Sijuin uses a specially she made bubble gun to fire a giant bolstering bubble bomb during her elemental skill. Rebound. Oh, and entraps them. The projectile bounces hmm. between nearby opponents, dealing hydro damage to anyone it touches, and restoring HP to all nearby party members, well, except for Sijuin herself. Sijuin will be healed a certain oh, amount of Oh, she does have the bond of life. Bolstering bubble bomb disappears, which is based but she doesn't on heal herself HP. with the skill? Bolstering bubble bomb, say that three times. Wait, does that group enemies? Disappears, which is based on her max HP. <laughs> Bolstering bubble bomb, say that three times. No, nah, they, they just <laughs> ran <laughs> after her. You know... Travelers could have a, a bubble blowing contest with their Sijuins. Would that be great? You can have no, that. Stop. It's exactly it's like stop doing it. The longer you hold her elemental skill, the larger the bubble grows. Once the projectile is released, it will gradually decrease in size as it bounces around. The bigger the bubble, the greater that the is damage and healing. Very effect. fitting, and but if very a strange. Large bubble hits a weaker enemy. They'll be trapped inside. Whoa, guys! It's like she's trapping them in a cage. Oh, so you can't do it to a big enemy. Like the hydro you, you, know, you could tell she she cares about them. her bedside manner is so strong. <laughs> <laughs> hey, wait a second! Are those the orbs that Nivellette drops? It looks like Sejuin oh. creates two source water droplets when she fires a bubble. That's not like enough. She gains a bond of life. When you she need three. Them? How does that work? Uh, I can't explain that as well. Since she has training as a nurse, Sejuin understands how to make the most three. of a dire situation. Her elemental skill creates source water droplets, and Sejuin can give herself a bond of life by absorbing. Maybe you can run Nuvolet. When that bond of life is still? cleared, Sejuin can regain some elemental energy based on the value of the bond of life. Neat. Yeah, I'm confused. Ah, so Sejuin can nullify her bond of life. I guess we'll just shock it up to healer slash nice. That's right. DPS. While the bond of life is hazardous to most people, it can actually be perceived as a real advantage for oh, Sejuin. Oh, there you go. After she unlocks her talent, detailed diagnosis, thorough treatment, Sijuin's healing will be increased based on the total. Yeah, so you can like, yeah, yep. All the characters in her party. You can oh, almost get it. So what is it? After she unlocks her talent, detailed diagnosis, thorough treatment, Sijuin's healing will be increased based on the total bond of life values across all the characters in her party. Oh, thank goodness. Sounds like a Melusine can make the bottom So they are trying to push bottom of life. <laughs> <laughs> After using her elemental burst and absorbing nearby source water droplets, Sijuin will use the syringe to spray enemies in front of her. This attack <laughs> deals so continuous hydro damage. Silly. Wait, that's so cute. Even her attacks are a form of medical treatment. A huge syringe. Yeah. I mean, hey, she just wants everyone to be as healthy as possible. <laughs> yeah, right? I have no Sijuin clue. Sijuin wants every patient to get a proper amount of rest. After unlocking her passive talent requires appropriate rest, unleashing her elemental skill Takes will a while also too. trigger the semi-strict bed rest effect. Oh. This effect will grant her a hydro damage bonus and several stacks of convalescence. When non-active characters deal damage with their off-field elemental skills, Sijuin can consume a stack of convalescence to increase that elemental skill damage. Ooh. Oh, what elemental in the world? She does a lot of stuff. <laughs> Not super strict, Heals, super strict. damage, and then gives <laughs> more damage oh, so to like, like the Oz life mechanic is pretty integral to both and Farina. And Claran's kits, mm -hmm. like that off field or like Yai. Oh yeah. Oh, I can't wait to see these abilities in action. And travelers won't <laughs> just be limited okay, to the play styles funny. that they've seen here, right? As, as I understand it, the mechanics leave a lot of room for open experimentation. Yeah, yeah. Right. And outside of combat, Melazines are very connected to the ocean, so Sijuin always takes care of her companions during underwater exploration. Sijuin is especially helpful when her friends are endangered by underwater enemies. She can use her emergency dose talent to continuously restore HP to her party member for a period of time. Ooh. Unfortunately, doing so what it takes so long their elemental and physical resistances there's always a price mm -hmm. why what <laughs> cool that seems like a skill that would come in handy though that seems Season very unnecessary looking out for us mm -hmm. thanks head nurse <laughs> <laughs> that might be the weirdest oh, and unit got a quick question for you all we've yes. gotten Have in a while any differences between sijuin and other melazines ah hmm. well I think her appearance and her interests very is different. Mm -hmm. Like if you ignore the tail and the feelers on her head, then she actually doesn't look that different from a human child. Right? How could you ignore those? <laughs> right. Well, it's pretty fair. <laughs> it's true. But also, she's interested in beauty, and she knows a lot about skincare, and she actually even contributes to the most famous beauty magazine in Fontaine. Did not know that. Oh, oh, oh! And her medical knowledge. Right. We haven't encountered not any free. other Melusines <laughs> who give medical treatment to humans, oh. and Sijuin seems to care the most Sijuin. about the people of Fontaine. 
and she's also one of the few Melusines who work in the fortress of Meripede, right? Right. Mm -hmm. I mean, Unfortunately. generally speaking, not many Hello. people are willing to treat criminals. I mean, not even a Melusine's open-mindedness usually goes that far, right? Mm. Got Dean in the yeah. building. You're all bringing up great points. Don't you think that Siegeween's differences from the other Melusines make her Yeah, that's a very weird kid. At the same time? Mm -hmm. In the Nerei chapter, travelers will have the chance to learn more very, about the very strange. Of this very special Melusine in her personal story quest. Woohoo! Oh, that's awesome. That'll, probably, that'll be like hey, the next side. Story quests, didn't travelers Set name those. mysterious youngster last version? Uh, Powerless character. Sino's story quest? Mm -hmm. well, yeah, she does look really good. Will now have the opportunity to add she really to does. Parties. You recently left Sidri, on the other hand, eager to travel around. she looks very so, confusing. Zach, why don't you introduce him? Go, Zach. Oh, but it's not a bad thing, though. Uh, okay, then. Let's take a look at Sethos' demo. If you're always asking why, you end up thinking yourself into a corner. Sometimes it's better to let go. You got Electro Yoimiya. Or in maybe like Electro Tainari. Or both. Two and one. Nah, more like Tainari because he's oh, going to be EM, okay. most likely. His design is so cool. He looks amazing. I like the like the electric like, shoes. Right? Sethos didn't just get power and wisdom from his mm. desert heritage. He's also talented but it in looks like he's a DPS. So Sethos has always yeah. loved hiking, and he has a great it sense now. of direction. Whether he's exploring the desert or the rainforest, he in knows the roads like the back of his hand, and he always knows where to find the best regional specialties. Ooh. Oh, there you go. You probably know where this is going, but I'll say it anyway. When Sethos is in your team, he'll reveal the yep. location of Sumero. Regional That's good. Specialties That's a four star that can do that. That's good. Cool. Wait, so I'm curious. He's lived in a remote desert for his entire life. It's good to have a four star an and a five star. I can it do seems it. Seems like someone with that kind of upbringing would either be like. Really Unlike Fontaine, where it's two five stars like that Sethos have that ability. Seem like that at all. Yeah. yeah, you're absolutely right. Sethos is a very open-minded and Sethos. cheerful person. As the successor to the mysterious Temple of Silence, he had more educational opportunities than other people who live in Sumeru's desert. His responsibilities drive him to learn about other people and drive places. Him crazy. He has a very open mind, and he tries to be optimistic. In fact, his personality yeah, I is agree. a huge help in getting along with other people. So wait, that sounds like... I, I knew they were going to try and keep Bond of Life going because they have the artifacts set for it. But yeah, the, the way Clorin is using it, it's actually very well done. You're saying he's a social butterfly? Like, she actually has a really good way of using it. <laughs> I guess he's a pretty busy guy and it's pretty interesting. A pretty varied lifestyle. <laughs> and he's one of the more Asian interesting kids we, got, we had in a bit. General Mahamatra Sino. He occasionally visits the academia. He's always heal trying to make and you and heal it off city. and you clear it, he enjoys heal it off, and it's all within bizarre. like seconds. But we've already talked a lot about his hobbies. Let's move on to what he can do in combat. If she's like strong too, she'll be like the better Sino because. I mean, Sino's fine, but like his whole thing is being stuck in his burst. So if you can use uh, Clarin and it's your skill. Yes. Sethos's aim shot has a special variant when charged to level two. Or Sethos. You can't move when his attack is charged to its second level, but it allows him to fire a you powerful can't move. shadow piercing shot that can pierce enemies, oh, dealing no. electro damage to targets in its path. Ooh. Sethos's talent, Black Kite's Enigma, can cool. increase the charging time of his aim shot by consuming elemental energy. Some elemental energy will also be consumed after releasing the shot. Nice. Ooh, useful. Well, yeah. if he had his fragment, then maybe I consider it. No. <laughs> also, I noticed his aim shots take a really long time to charge. So I think that means players need to store up elemental energy to fire the shadow piercing shot faster, right? Do they do they usually show it on mobile? Hey, wait a minute. I feel like this is the first Genshin Impact character who actually consumes elemental energy while firing aim shots. What? Yeah, oh, does it? Right oh. Hey. That's why Sethos has an elemental skill that helps him restore elemental energy. Useful. It's an ancient ritual that deals AoE so... electro damage, and it also restores elemental energy whenever a hit on an enemy triggers an overloaded, so you don't really use his burst. Superconduct, Electro Swirl, Quicken, Aggravate, or Hyper Bloom reaction. Ooh, that's a lot. That's a Sumeru character for sure. Also have another option for firing powerful shots. Yeah, yeah, that's like that. his elemental burst. Sethos will perform an ancient ritual that was passed down from King Deshret's era. 
he will enter the twilight meditation twilight state, zone converting his normal attacks to enemy piercing dusk bolts that deal increased damage based on his yeah, elemental master he looks cool oh, that's, that's cool that sounds like a mini version of the shadow piercing shot oh, but... it doesn't take as much time to fire useful <laughs> Okay, also, it seems like the records of King Deshret have a lot of power. I was hoping he's going to be a support, so, though, I'm not going to lie. Between you and me, does that mean Sethos has mastered other mysterious rituals and techniques? Of course! Yo. I'm sure that Apparently the Temple so. of Silence has a whole archive of secrets. One of his other talents will also increase the damage dealt by a shadow-piercing shot for a period of time hmm. based on his elemental mastery. Okay, Two Electro right. characters. Sounds like the Temple of Silence is a real impressive legacy. No kidding. So many ancient rituals. Sethos is definitely a talented fighter who can make. He's gonna be like a, he's gonna be like EM scaling for sure. He's similar to Kalaran in that sense. Yeah. Kalaran. Oh wow! We finished the first mission. Nice. I wonder what the next one's gonna be. Let's get it. Oh. It looks like we'll have to uncover hidden secrets in our hidden next mission. secrets. Don't be mini games. Why, Don't you why do are it. All you guys looking at me. <laughs> well, I mean, secrets are kind of your area of. Expertise. Don't you do it. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. All your character does is speak in riddles. Speak plainly, sir. Yeah. Okay. That's good <laughs> okay well, I guess speak I'm the plainly, only one sir. Can shed some light on the hidden secrets. Oh, here we go. So here we go. This is a good cast. Conquest Chapter Four, Act Six, Bedtime Wait, Story. Wait. Oh. Oh, so that's that. Version 4.7. Trapper will finally reunite with Dainsley, hey. who will share more information about Conria's past. Ooh, that's that's what you guys were waiting for, right? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah, this was and long awaited for sure. I, you know, got to break out my voice acting skills for this patch, you guys. Oh my gosh, words come out of your mouth. <laughs> Hell yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> this time, Ether and Lumine will get to meet. Face to I'll be face. able to talk. And based Whoa. on what we heard in the trailer, it seems like the loom of speak? is now complete. So travelers can look forward to learning more about Kari Bear in this. Uh, that, 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 we can't. Look, look, Spoilers. Can't everything right now. Okay, oh. leave some secrets. What the heck, Zach? These are important secrets that travelers should uncover for themselves. You oh, okay. spoiler. Okay. Call up the snipers. Call up the snipers. Right. <laughs> I have no point in playing it now. I, look, I GGs. know. I get it that everyone can barely contain their excitement. So, <laughs> I will throw you a bone. To help tide you over until the next update, I'll be sharing a special surprise. Oh, that's the picture for it. Oh. What is it? Come on. Oh, I love surprises. It is. You'll know very soon, I promise. Oh, oh, yes. First, 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 we need to introduce the event wishes. Oh, okay. okay. So, oh, okay. boy. In the first phase of... First, Sticky Honey Roast with Wasabi hiding in one of them. Let's see who gets it. Oh, no. Point seven. Oh. Chloran and I'll hate them will be featured. I'll hate them. Oh, yeah. I guess it was like a year since his last release. Oh, and... Oh, wow. He's going to be on the first one as well. So, he'll be right... He'll be right alongside another Electro character? Huh. In the event which Illuminating lightning. That's a that's a good good name. <laughs> yeah. Set those will be the oh, hey, um... unit that appears on this event wish banner. Mm -hmm. And in the second phase of the version, travelers can look Ah at okay. I, I thought Freena was gonna be in four point eight because I had a theory about like the GAA and relaxing and stuff like that, but I was dead wrong. To event wishes from Sijuin and Farina. Yes, nice. and Farina's back. Because there's never enough. A new five star sword, <gasps> Absolution, and a new five star Gorgeous. bow. Wow, look at Sijuin's. <laughs> that, that just looks kind of normal. It's like Silver a it's normal sword. A very, a very thin one, but. Strings will also be featured on their respective weapon banners. All right. So good. Yeah. Oh, rip Farina banner. So cool. So good, right? All right, but okay. shout out to Chlorin's banner though. Holy, that's gonna be good. That's uh, lo-fi and absolution. Weapon banners. They look so nice. good. Yeah, so cool. So good, right? Uh, I go with a weapon over the con. This cons are not really anything crazy. Oh gosh, we all hate them, but then this Chlorin. Yeah, they're both at the same time. What's up? All right. Okay. Okay. Oh, baby, I made y'all wait long enough. Let's bring out the surprise. Yes, I hope everyone finally. enjoys it. Yeah, I wish they would show the four stars. I really do. Let's, Let's go. go. I really do. Oh, wait. Is this the... Wait. This is the, the animated short is in the live stream? Oh. That's a different... Different approach. All right. All right. Okay. Okay. I've made y'all wait long enough. Now hold up. Let's bring out the surprise. Yes, I hope everyone finally. enjoys it. Let's, Let's go. go. This is an interesting approach. 
Oh god, it's the beginning. <laughs> An anime announcement? Holy. Bro, imagine. They gotta stop teasing us like this. Yeah, it's crazy that they, they're showing their short in the live stream. Oh, no. See, no socks. There you go. She did it right. Know that I will always try. Funny or make them right. Though the nars are actually gonna meet right here. See you shine and bright. And no matter where you are, if come with me this fall, this is so good. There are old pictures. Cloak. Oh. Dang, man. I love the, the perspectives on that one. Which is like the, you know, the water in between them or like the different shots. You know, they, they keep on switching back and forth. Bro. Oh. I feel like we really got disconnected from wanting to see our twin after all these events and whatnot <laughs> in the game, but this animation makes it kind of kind of brings it back to the main topic, you know. Yeah, I'll probably cut. The, yeah, I'd make this separate if anything. I want to travel with an annoying fairy while the other one travels with, with a Chad. It's true. They get, she gets Dane slap and we get Pylon. Ugh. Kitchen two will have Lumine's perspective. <laughs> Or, or whoever you picked before. The end of Shneznaya. Ooh. That was good, though. That was very good. That kind of brought it back to, you know, the main thing. Oh, that was that was her singing? Oh, shoot. They got her to do it? Well, look at that. I didn't see that coming. I thought they would probably just have, like, one of their people from, uh, from Ohio doing it. Interesting. I have a dead silent after that one. <laughs> the end of Shneznaya. We'll switch the roles. It's a cool animation, but yeah, it's just like after cooking and making potions and petting cats. <laughs> it just seems like your traveler is just having a having a good time by theirself. <laughs> uh. Yeah, I didn't, yeah, that's that's also another like impressive thing just to be able to 
sing, you know, in a different language so well too, where you don't even notice that they're, uh, you know, what their their native languages. Sheesh. Yeah, I didn't think it was gonna be in the actual live stream. That caught me off guard, but very good. Very very good. Dang, that's a long break. I think it's about time we introduce this domain. New event. Wait, I like I missed it. Welcome back, travelers. Thank you. Thank you. I think Thank it's you. about time we introduce this domain behind us. Yes, yes. Bring on the challenge. I'm so ready. Dun, dun, dun. <laughs> you sound ready. <laughs> the location of this challenge seems pretty intriguing. <laughs> what is that doll? I'm on, and the traveler discovered a secret room within the Mondstadt Library, mm -hmm. and they've received an invitation to participate in a mysterious. Alice. Oh, I love secret rooms and libraries. I've always wanted one. So that's right, the all-new event, Imaginarium Theater, will become available in version hmm. 4.7 for travelers who are adventure rank 35 or higher. Nice. Wait, so this is a library? Mm -hmm. Wow. Kind of high for the event. No, it looks a lot different <laughs> from what I imagine. It's huge. Yeah, it kind of hmm. looks more like a magic castle. Mm. Right? So cool. I would live there. Please. So travelers... It does look kind of like... Concierge ...in the area who calls himself Wolfie. Aww. <laughs> I know. He's so cute. Wolfie. Wolfie. Now, this room was created by a mage <laughs> and that he's waiting for a guest to take the stage. That is, that is adorable. Is also a poet. <laughs> that guest will hopefully put Wolfie's on a magnificent huge. performance by becoming the main character of the mage's story. Bigger than Paimon. Uh, character energy. Mm -hmm. Ooh. After arriving oh, in this room, travelers just need to interact with this strange book in order to participate in the Imaginarium Theater Challenge. Wow, that was fast. Hmm. But what kind of challenge is it? Hard mode. Let me tell you, Imaginarium Theater contains a series of combat challenges with different battle conditions. Now, only characters who wield specific elemental types will be allowed to participate. So travelers hey, will have to select characters who meet the requirements of the challenge. Mm. Oh, I get it. But what if we don't have enough characters in our roster who meet the requirements? Uh -huh. so combat event? Thinking, but you won't have to worry about that. Because if you only pick off, certain people? Six characters will be designated as the initial lineup for each challenge. Trial characters will be provided for travelers that are missing any of those characters. Nice. Now, hold on a second. What was, what was that? Level 11 of her weapon and exile? Four star piece? <laughs> oh, no. Trial. Maybe a muscle library that could be like maybe it's like the basement. Characters will be provided for travelers that are missing. Or maybe you go like upstairs. Seeing any of those know. characters. Noise. And travelers can also invite special guest characters to participate special in the special guests that aren't restricted by the event requirements. Ooh. In addition, travelers can also designate a certain number of characters as supports for their friends. They can also select their friends supporting characters to join their own team. That's a nice Wait, thing. what? Supporting cast characters can assist friends and performances. I mean, like friends, as in like the travelers' friends, or like your friends list. Your friends, they can also select their friends' supporting characters to join their own team. That's a nice way to get. To if they mean actual friends, that's awesome. Because like they did up the friend count in the de the dev uh, notes they were talking about. Hmm. Characters. I think so, actually. Yeah. Right, friend, friends. Friends who who would say no friends to more friends? Support each other in stage combat, helping each other. And during the current challenge period, those six designated characters who make the initial lineup will gain fantastical blessings. Seventy Useful days buffs that remain potent even outside of the Imaginarium Theater challenge. Is this the wait, entire wait, wait, wait. patch? So you're saying those buffs aren't just active during the challenge itself? Yes. Wow. You're kidding. Wait. Okay. The mage behind the theater must be super powerful. Oh, super Wolfie. powerful. And yeah, where the whales at? Probably wondering why it looked like we had to select so many characters just now. But characters will consume vigor while participating in imaginary mm. theater combat challenges. Ooh. So when a character's vigor is fully depleted, they will no be map. able to fight, ah. and you will have to replace them with a new character. It's time for some R and R. Ah, look at Chlor. Hey, I got the Chlorine uh, Overload team. So when you select your characters, you have to Sheesh. pay attention to how well they work together. Yes. And also I don't know why they have Arlie in there though, but 
so how well they can fill in for each other. And Dual exactly. DPS team. And I should also mention that not all selected characters will immediately appear in your team. Some characters can only be hmm. gathered by progressing through the story. Oh, yeah, I know several. They what the heck? can formally be added to your team at the end of an Imaginarium Theater battle or when you encounter certain special events. This cool. really looks like a GAA type of thing. So assembling your team is part of the challenge. Yes, which makes it even more fun. I'm getting like that kind of explain vibe. a little more about the special events that I mentioned. Travelers can choose to spend Fantasia flowers to trigger events during the story. Now some events will unlock certain characters. I love Wolfie battle, though. <laughs> and others may trigger certain perils. Uh -oh. Some doom. So travelers will have to choose. Wait, say what? Now some events will unlock certain characters for battle, and others may trigger certain perils. Uh -oh. Some doom. So travelers will have to choose very carefully. Ooh, no this pressure. is a very in-depth event. <laughs> Travelers can collect performance tour rewards by completing challenges and finalizing their performance results. The first time they complete a challenge, travelers will also receive a debut performance gift. Ooh, present. Travelers right, who feel shoot. particularly Wait, confident can try that was to a lot of primos. star challenge condition during each stage. They'll be able to obtain different levels of performance medals that correspond with the difficulty of the challenge. These medals can be displayed on their profile. <laughs> Go ahead and show off. And that's not all, right? <laughs> Travelers can also obtain toy medals during this event, which it they says can 35 days. The concierge. Aww. But in return, Travelers will receive special poses for their characters. <laughs> what? Oh, awesome! <laughs> what the heck? Travelers will be able to take all sorts of new cool pictures. I am excited to see new poses. Oh, so right. Mm, me too. Right. And also, more poses will be added whenever Imaginarium Theater is updated. <laughs> Isn't that yes. just like and their fun. idol? Each performance in the Imaginarium part of their idol? Theater has several difficulty levels. And even each at one Sean has Lane, a different though. number of challenges. Higher difficulty levels will yield even better rewards. Bring it on. Okay. As Wolfie the Concierge likes to say, when the brilliant golden glow of the treasure <laughs> beckons, don't you hesitate. Just Is go it gonna have a voice? How can he be so that's cute? amazing. <laughs> I don't know. I, 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 somehow I still didn't. Make yeah, that's cute cool. But of course, it'll take time for. Yeah, we need. Yeah, we need new expressions. Necessary characters and that's a uh, interesting. And I'm sure travelers are always reward. looking for ways to get more primo gems. Oh, a pose for every word. character. Gimme, 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 gimme. <laughs> Each month, Imaginarium Theater will alternate with updates. With oh, it's the permanent. Abyss. In addition, the total rewards that can be gained from the Spiral Abyss has been increased from 600 primo gems to 800 primo gems. Whoa, 200 more? Yes. Yeah. What? More information will be available across Genshin Impact's official so... social media accounts. So. Keep a lookout. <laughs> I, I, Ooh, I need to run that back. Changing. So, here we go, here we go. so that's permanent, or that's at least it said. 30, it said thirty-five days, and he said event, but apparently that's gonna reset every month. He said, alongside the spiral abyss, and abyss is gonna give you more primos. So, keep a lookout. <laughs> Master Theoden will alternate updates with the spiral spiral moon spire each month, lasting a month. I, I kept it. Ooh, the background is changing. Ooh, here we go. Here Let's we go. see what else this version has. So, is it actually like another. Did they do it? Is it another end game mode? Has in store. Yes, please. Mutual security enhancing. You can use your friends too? Huh. See, I, th I thought that was like this. Like, it was just like another event. That's the permanent one? Do they have done something to do with the post poses already? Oh, no. <laughs> Oh, there's a post. Okay, I'll, I'll, I'll look at that. I see that some in hilly churls and ruin guards, so I'm assuming this is one of those imaginary theater monster fighting events. Ooh. Yes, sort of. Okay, so this Travelers is the normal event. Won't be engaging monsters directly. Instead, they'll be able to command monsters to fight is in that a catalyst? cooperative simulation. Ooh. No. The Millilith will be hosting a strategic <laughs> war game to improve their understanding of security needs throughout Devat. The they'll Millilith. They'll be accompanied by representatives from Mondstadt's. Okay, I'll, I'll look into that in a second. <laughs> Inazuma's Yashiro see what's going on. Mission, Sumeru's Core of 30, and Fontaine's Special Patrol. Their Special joint exercise is intended to improve military tactics okay, across the continent. Very Imaginary sure. theater. Wow. <laughs> You're making this event sound really official. Yellow theater. That, that was my official voice. Uh, you know, I'm just doing my best. As I was saying, you, you can imagine it like that was actually Dane's left, like how he talks in the game. Play two different kinds of scenarios in the event: assault scenarios and defense scenarios. I like this. I like this cast though. To the simulation, travelers fun. will need to analyze enemy formations and deploy the best units for completing the challenge. In assault scenarios, is this 
only need to select your combat units and deploy them within your staging area. It is. So once the scenario begins, the unit will automatically start attacking your opponents. So is this like the fungi yeah, event, but with actual I enemies? Relax when these things are coming at you, but try. Clearly not. Pew pew. Ooh, okay, okay, I'm gonna give this Oh, a yeah, it sure is. Yeah, okay. Uh, do it. Oh. How come my hilly churl archers got We're wiped fighting out so quickly? Oh, enemies? No. With enemies? Oh, okay, okay, sorry, sorry, I forgot to mention something important. <laughs> you sorry. know. <laughs> I know, I know. Uh, but the, this here, is... We can, we can fix it now. Some types of <laughs> this combat units dang. are more effective against others. <laughs> Ranged units like hilly churl archers are vulnerable this to melee units This looks way like too dank. Trolls. But don't fret. You can turn a bad situation around like if you not how to do it but just what what i'm looking at right now just, just like the what the heck exactly just choose the best <laughs> just, just yeah, choose the best unit just, simple fix. just simple choose fix. the samurai in defense scenarios you need to deploy <laughs> yeah class of clans pokemon enemies who are attacking from multiple directions class of clans so my enemy God. units will drop support beacons which can then be used to deploy additional combat units and frontline structures okay. as the unit's commander travelers can use their leadership skills to create favorable conditions for their team and if they're successful then travelers can obtain various rewards mm -hmm, from hmm. the mutual security enhancing simulation like event These rewards they're really include, messing around with primo gem yes the a previous event and a four star bow like Cloud the wind trace that by daylight and now, now this okay and yeah. next up we're introducing another combat related event and another one this is three combat events in a row. Oh, I, no, sorry. The imaginary one's not. Misformed most. Or sorry, not imaginary. The uh, That last one, the theater one. I mean, I guess you can call it that. It's just you're not the one doing the combat. Show. Oh, okay. Theater mechanicus. This one yeah. is going to test some different skills. Yeah, you betcha. In the previous event, travelers only got to simulate Endless combat, forms. But the environment on a real battlefield is way more unpredictable. And that's why it's important to come up with combat tactics Whoa, on... treacherous. Whoa. On the fly and take Whoa. advantage of battlefield conditions. So, in Treacherous. most martial, travelers will have to defeat enemies according to the special rules okay, of each so state. This is a normal For one. For example, some challenges may require travelers to defeat enemies affected by the electrocharged condition. And that hmm. is the only way to accumulate progress towards the challenge goal. Now, yeah, once this they is normal. satisfy the requirements, normal. They'll be able to earn ba -ba 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 rewards. I'm appreciating all these rewards. Yeah, that's the uh, child reptile one. You just sit there and let let that just go in a circle for an hour. Rewards. Yeah, that's the generic one. Hmm. Combat so event. This is one of those challenges that requires you to strategize. Indeed. Nope. Oh, nope. Let's move on to just our next smash. event. I'm gonna try this Spino now. double blaster. I've gotten a report about a loud boom that just went off in a rather unremarkable part of Fontaine. Uh oh. Ooh, uh oh. Like it must have come from that crocodile shaped cannon. It, he said, I like that news. Pretty scary. Never fear, viewers. I wouldn't worry about it, actually. Shoot. Who is that NPC? Modified by a Fontanian engineer. Oh. It's now just a toy cannon that you can use to fire. That's some different looking hair. So why not have some fun with this it? It's the same event from the GAA last year. Ooh. Okay. Oh, yeah. well, why not, indeed, if that's Bridge. the case? Travelers will need to allocate energy to the cannon and firing mode to destroy as many target balls as possible within the time limit. They'll even be rewarded for their trouble. Did I pick it off on the? Uh oh oh yeah 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 I get it oh it oh so it it's actually meant to like connect. Okay, all right. If that's the case, then. Okay. Never fear, viewers. I wouldn't worry about it actually. You see, I don't see, you see their face. Why does thing looks? Ooh, I like that news. It must have come from that crocodile-shaped mm -hmm. cannon. It, it, that thing looks pretty scary. Never fear, viewers. I wouldn't worry. Top about left. It. Cannon. It, it, that thing looks pretty scary. Dude. Oh, I see. Like a remarkable part of Fontaine. Uh oh. Ooh, I like that. News. Remarkable it must part have come of Fontaine. From that crocodile-shaped cannon. Shoot. This cannon was modified by a Fontaine engineer. Screen. It's now just a toy cannon hmm. that you can use to fire hydro bullets. If it's like so connected, then. Oh. Okay. Oh, yeah. oh wait. By a oh wait. They're really, they're really trying to do those little things. Like finally, man. Oh my gosh. Watch it just hide like one part of it, not the whole thing. <laughs> Fontanian engineer. It's now just. There's always a catch. Toy cannon. There's always a catch somewhere. Bullets, so What's the catch gonna be? Fun with it. Oh. But no, seriously, okay. though, if that if that really is just the whole thing, that's great. 
Finally. This cannon was modified by a Finally. Palestinian engineer. <laughs> it's now just a toy cannon that you can use to fight. Oh, they, is that like the, the pass dialogue option as well? The pass dialogue option and hide the UI? They're hydro bullets, so why not have some fun with hmm. these? Oh, okay. Oh, yeah. <laughs> why not indeed, if that's the case? All you need now Toddlers is a skip button. To allocate no. <laughs> energy to the cannon and choose the correct firing mode to destroy as many target balls as possible. Okay, if this is connected target. to the last event, then that's trouble. fine. Was there ever yes. a doubt? Mm -hmm. In order the to last the event Sumeru GAA. Special types of target balls it's will the same appear crocodile. the challenge. They will produce different effects when they are destroyed. But if it's just like a whole new thing and it's just reused, and you guys, that's yeah. that's my kind of yeah, old school arcade games because I'm an old school. Okay, oh, I'm just old. Anyway, <laughs> no, just old. Like, oh no, 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 not that. I'm just old. <laughs> takes place in the land Another of Mondstadt. Travelers will encounter a familiar light novelist who recently completed a new script. Travelers who follow her script will light be able to embark on a wondrous journey of literature and imagination. And the script will lead travelers to mysterious locales. Yeah, she does look cool. will have the opportunity to earn rewards. That is, if they can evade bullet curtain assaults. I, I don't mind these. I actually like these. Mechanisms and collect enough labyrinth but, coins. No big deal. You can do it. Easy peasy. Wicked warlocks will also yeah, be Yeah, yeah. The, the last Sumeru GAA. Yeah, that, that's the, the <laughs> last event. Them, yeah. It's literally just the same thing. Even more coins. Ooh, it looks it's like just we'll the same thing. Really skillfully, if we want to avoid all those attacks. No pressure. Mm. Uh, actually, I don't but mind these. Worry, I like these. Can take advantage of adventure techniques to gain special buffs. Because so on this one, they the they change the cooldown so it's endless, and you can just kind of like spam abilities. It's a lot easier to deal with. You'll also be able to get rewards more easily if you're smart about how you use Oops. them. That sounds great. So great. Speaking of strategies. The new version will be adding more updates. Uh oh, to the hey, look, it's Kave. He's back. Hey, Zinian. Zinian's back. Or not back. Zinian's here. <laughs> Farina. What's Yunjin going to do? In TCG. Hmm. Location TCG. Kave's here. Zinian finally cards, showed up. Cards and action cards. Also, more NPCs will be ready to challenge wonder... travelers in the open world. Oh, and I hope they're ready to lose. Oh, it's not an even number. It's fine. Could take a challenge. <laughs> oh, also, huh. the Leyline Overflow event. The Car will, will crash the game. <laughs> Could be the new game mode. Zinian got a new car. Also return in the new version. So At's in the air for Zinian. <laughs> oh, also, the Leyline Overflow event will also return in the new version. Oh, it's back. So don't miss out. Whew, that was a lot of information. At the end. Let's take a break while we take a look at the last redemption code. The last See code. Is that a new icon? Oh, tell me we can get a Wolfie icon. A Wolfie profile picture. Please let me know. All right. There's a lot of video left, so. Everybody. We're back. We're back. Hello, hello, hello. Welcome Show me the, the goods. Version 4.7 special program. Looks like we completed this domain challenge. That's pretty. Was there ever any it wasn't. Doubt? <laughs> uh, I think you'll find. That was like 50 minutes. Wow. I am very, very pro. Now it's time to tell everyone about the new optimizations in the latest update. We already know, First Zach. Up, the encounter point system for collecting daily Wait, commission what? rewards will now be unlocked at adventure rank 24. Hopefully this helps. That wasn't like that before. Travelers <laughs> level up more quickly. Nice. And now for some really exciting news. Travelers Max Resin will be increased from 160 to 200. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> you might notice from the video that version 4.7 will have some other optimizations. Be sure to check nah, them out for yourselves. Still in didn't game. do it right. <laughs> all right, that silent. looks like all the information we have to share today. Still didn't do it right, Hi Hiyo. Travelers. What? What? <laughs> wait, 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 wait. No. If it ended just like that, I would have been perfect. <laughs> all right, bye, travelers. It's over. Oh yeah, yeah, that's the Harper music as well. Good utilization there. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. Of okay. course, I wouldn't sign off without giving you guys the chance to to talk about your time here on the special program. How was it? I have things to say. No, I'm, I am just 
I'm so thrilled to join this amazing voice cast, I and I'm excited for everyone to get to see any more in thrilled. action and add her to your parties. I hope and yes, just I how hope cute she is with her little pills and her adorable little syringe. And, ah, yeah, take it. Oh my god, and like thank you very much. Yeah, same here. Take to everything it. that Sarah said. It's such an honor to join the cast. I'm so excited that Clarendon. Yeah, is I, I like this. Out. Uh, I hope everyone these VAs. has fun of uh, like meeting her and learning. Clarendon is full her. of energy. I like her actually. Oh, I, I'm character really in the game. Combat events. I don't know about you guys, but I I've been playing this game, and my favorite thing's beating things really? up in this world. <laughs> yeah, <All right>. no, <laughs> me too. <laughs> Love fighting these monsters. And and you guys, I I have not been playing this game. You know what years, game you should so try. While while uh, <laughs> Dainsliff is a is a man of mystery, uh, this game uh, so much of it is a mystery to me. And you guys were so welcoming today, and I learned so much. And I don't know, is this the thing that finally gets me to start playing? Oh. Are, are you guys no, wait till, till your banner, oh, Dane. Is that what, did that just happen? Wait, wait till your banner. <laughs> yeah, I, it's been absolutely awesome. When your banner's you out, then you, then you can I'm join. I'm so excited for Imaginarium Theater, of course, all the new characters, mm -hmm. and the new could, yeah, could do that with CG. because I got some new voice lines. <gasps> oh, yeah. Oh, my gosh. Hallelujah. He speaks. He speaks. More. He, he speaks. <laughs> Oh gosh, they're joking about it in the official live stream, but it's just like, why do you don't give this man any dialogue? <laughs> <laughs> awesome. Well, thanks why? for coming, guys, and see y'all in game. Yes. Bye -bye. See y'all in game. Bye, everybody. Bye. Uh. Huh? Speaking of Pokemon. Oh, this is though. Wait. Oh, you can control that? No, stop. This is Natland? Oh, shoot. Oh, yeah, there is lava. Are we getting mounts? Like, oh god, it's like a whole different game. What the heck? That is not what I thought Netland was look like. But all right, shoot. That's what is playable. It's Digimon. <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, it's really not. It doesn't even look like the game anymore. <laughs> oh, this is a separate video for it? Oh. They usually don't do that. So, wait. Oh, hold on a second. There's, like, a little fox. There's a shark. There's, like, the, the driller-looking thing. Another kind of, like feline kind of animal and they were showing off those three yeah that's not what I thought it was gonna look like I didn't think it was gonna look like that maybe maybe it's just one part it's a bird a deer and a bunny it's like the yeah the drill the drilling thing maybe some kind of deer s kind of thing some kind of maybe like bunny slash fox or you know, I might be like a fox. The bottom might be like a, I don't know, some kind of ox maybe. Or like a fire Pokemon kind of thing. Shark. And I don't know what that is in the, in the uh, top left hand corner. So we got a bird, maybe that's the bird. Oh, it could be, yeah, it could be a, a moose. I couldn't even identify where the face was for a second. <laughs> hmm. Probably when we saw the end, might give us the ability to fly. Oh, yeah, probably like going to be a catch, though, like short. Interesting. There was lava in there, but I was thinking like pain and agony and war. Hmm. Last one, last one is the the first bird or last bird. Oh, that could be yeah, because it looks like I guess like the one bird, yeah, the the one at the top. 
top left hand corner. That's a drill or something. It's kind of like fox with a, with a long tail. You know what though? I guarantee you, this is definitely a Natland only thing. Much like how Fontaine was the only reason you can go underwater. That I'm like a hundred percent sure. Because the animals wouldn't even be in the other region, right? But you know, that's still cool. I'd rather this than going underwater. Yeah, this looks like I don't even know, man. <laughs> I don't even know. True, there. Yeah, there is always a good, a, a bright side, and then a more darker side. Fontaine didn't have like a real, like much of. I mean, it, it had it, but it didn't have it like how I thought it was going to. I thought Fontaine was gonna have like the whole, you know, like green, dirty water kind of side. If she could walk on lava, that'd be hilarious. If Farina can walk on lava, that'd be hilarious. <laughs> this looks like Super Lucky's Tail. This looks like uh, Ukulele, or whatever, whatever that game is called. This looks like a whole different thing. The music's very, like, kind of futuristic, but also ancient <laughs> at the same time. This looks like an entirely different game. Oh, is there any extra here? Oh, no. What do the comments say? Jurassic Impact. Yep, there you go. Jurassic Impact. Speaking Pokemons are getting around, man. First Pal World, now this. Interesting. Yeah, everything's going to have its own thing. Do, 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 do. This is throwing shade of their competitor by showing off the super sun transfer jewels. Huh. Nah, I don't think so. <laughs> Red Dragon there. Red D Dragon. Oh, I see. Do, 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 do. Oh, yeah. Can you imagine? And with the mounts, you probably can't do a lot of other things at the same time. So maybe you could just have like a a good amount of time on them, you know? Can make them farm artifacts for us? That's the question too. How are they gonna be strong? Like, are they gonna be able to attack? Interesting. Yeah, that is not what I expected. Can go in the water. Probably can't go under the water. But yeah, the drill thing. I like how freely the drill thing looks. Like, see how he jumps off on the other one. And I'm assuming we can do because the way they're showing it, it looks like we're in control of it. I hope this is not just like animals that are around the world and they're just doing this stuff, and that's all it is. <laughs> Dang, look at that. Yeah, this is more of a, like, wacky looking, you know, this looks a lot more wacky than I thought it was going to be. I mean, it looks good, but I was thinking more of, like, a serious war kind of note to it. Is it ukulele? Yeah, I get, I get, <laughs> I get this kind of vibe. <laughs> I get this, this kind of vibe, like this game, ukulele. That's what it looks like. That's what that land looks like. Like it literally, word for word, like picture in picture. It looks like ukulele. Look at the water, you got the lava, you got the, the red, all the crazy looking animals. It's literally like, like picture in picture. Or what was the other game? Super Lucky's Tale? Kind of. Can go up too. Hmm. It's looking like Death Mountain kind of design. Death Mountain. Doo -doo 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 -doo. Oh, from uh, Zelda. Zelda. Yeah. 
something like that. I was looking like a more serious note. It could still be right. It, it still could be like, uh, like you said, a, a different area, but so far, yeah, it looks a very, very like fun looking. Natland is a nation where humans and Syrians live together. You may have heard about this already, but seeing is believing. <laughs> you may have heard this already, but seeing is believing. Yep. You're at the end of a uh, Dane's quest. Or sorry, not Dave. Uh, Nouvellet. So those are the Syrians. Hmm. Yeah, I'm liking the vibe, though. I'm liking the vibe. Liking the vibe. I thought it was going to be a lot more scary and dark, but no. We're, we're vibing. We're vibing in that land. Do, 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 do. What about the water part? There's a lot of floating things, too. Hmm. Yeah, our Nara's had a dark side as well. That's true. Yeah, this is like literally just a different game for real. I just like it. Just my brain just immediately jumps to so many different things. So here's the gameplay details for Imaginarium Theater. Theater. This is a ceaseless drama of adventure played out in the uh, inter interstice between reality and fantasy. So you need to. There you go. Can see. So this in the gameplay, you need to select multiple characters to form a party and complete multiple combat stages. For each season of each season, huh? Of Imaginarium Imaginarium Theater will feature three specific elements. First season is Pyra, Electro, and Animo. Characters will meet the elemental and level requirements that can be selected. Hmm, this is oddly specific. Select characters, special events, do the, do the combat, obtain rewards. Do, 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 do. And. Oh, you can't, like, look at the top. This is opening characters. Six characters designated will be set in your initial principal cast. And you can use a trial version, too. Okay. Yeah, it's a really weird format they have. Except for opening characters, you can also select multiple alternate cast members. Alternate cast members can be added to the principal cast by completing a combat event or triggering companion events. Hmm. Characters that meet the elemental and level requirements. You can choose your character, your friend's character. So I guess the like the person that they can put in this, like available for your friends, or they have it on like their friends list. Special pool of selectable characters that can do not meet the elemental requirements for any reason. Hmm. Probably just like so you're not stuck. Like if you don't have those, I mean, they have the trial characters, but if they're not enough, then you kind of need to go outside of the requirement. Character will start with two vigor. Each time they complete combat event, they will lose one. Oh, isn't this just the event from a couple patches ago? Kind of. Yeah, it's kind of like the one we had. I forget, I forget what it was called, but we had one a couple patches ago. So kind of the same thing. You have to pick certain people, and then you, yeah, and you lose one. So you got to switch. Yeah. Trigger events, add buffs. You can choose to also pose risks. Make your choice carefully. Uh, imagine the item you need to complete three, six, or eight battles respectively on easy, normal, or hard difficulty. The first clear. Yeah, so this is going to be like a seasonal thing. All right. So this actually is, I think if mode available for each phase of the trial abyss will be 600 to 800. Yay, more primo ships. <laughs> Interesting. Third one. Oh, oops. Winning cast. The opening characters of each season of Imaginary Theater will obtain fantastical blessings which offer buffs. Not only will these buffs be effective during Imaginary Theater, 
but they will also take effect in your adventures outside the theater, including Spiral Abyss. Wait, what? Opening. Oh, okay. So whoever is on the, whoever is here, I guess I'm assuming this is the actual lineup for next patch. Those characters will get more HP, attack, and defense. Just overall. In your adventures outside the theater, including the Spiral Abyss. So you get an extra Abyss buff on top of the one that Abyss already has, or is this replacing the Abyss buff? Hmm. Because will Abyss still have its own buffs itself, and then you also get this too? That'd be kind of, uh... That'd be kind of busted. Or maybe it's replacing it. Fantastical blessings. Maybe it's replacing it because they're, they're kind of getting mushed together now. Like they said, it's going to recycle whenever Abyss recycles. So I guess this is a, like another end game mode. Took me a, a bit to actually realize that, but. Because <laughs> the way he was explaining it, it was like a normal event. Oh, yeah. And then I, I guess like for the whole season, they'll be buffed just everywhere huh? on the overworld interesting so for the first one it's Clorin oh Shinobu <laughs> Wander Farazan Clorin Arlequino yeah that'll be useful so you'll just be running around with what 20% more of defense attack and HP That would be kind of weird if you like, because uh, imagine if you pull a character and, you know, you don't even know about this thing yet. Well, you got to be a certain rank, though, but still, you pull a character, you have way more HP than you usually would. You're just like, what's going on here? <laughs> and, you, and you lose it and you're like, oh, no. <laughs> uh, suitable characters complete several rounds of challenges and obtaining rewards. So you can only pick certain ones. Yeah, I mean, I guess the Abyss is, you know, a place where you can pick whoever you have, and then this one's going to be a select few. All right, so more Primos, uh, more Primos in general. It, it's probably going to... It's probably going to be less Primos, actually, because the thing is, they said it's going to happen every month. So they're probably going to change Abyss too. Right? Where it's like, now Abyss won't reset two times. It'll probably just reset once a month. So it's probably the same thing in the end, right? Because you you don't you don't get two cycles anymore, most likely. Complete specific stages to obtain toy medals. It can be used for special photo phases. Well, I mean, better than nothing. This one you will receive Midlander. Oh, you see billets from this? Tout materials? That's like, that's actually really good because the only way to really get these are bosses, like weekly bosses. So to have another means of getting these is actually, it's actually very good. Like you actually have a different way to get that stuff instead of just doing weekly bosses. And tout materials too. Uh, okay. First season of Imaginary Theater will be available on July 1st. Oh, really? Oh, no. That's a month after next patch. With the reason... The reason. With the release of the new gameplay, the Spiral Abyss schedule will be... be yep, I knew it. It'll be adjusted starting from June 16th. Both gameplay modes will be available for one month each time. Mmm. So first half of July, second half of July is just Imaginary Theater. Uh, Abyssal Moon resets on the 16th. Then on the 16th of August, it will be over and going to the next one. But in between that, Imaginary Theater resets as well. So it's basically Spiral Abyss, but now there's two Spiral Abysses and one changes on the same dates, basically. Hmm. Oh, I meant explains it, yeah. Yeah, so... July 1st, Imaginary Theater, 16th of July, Abyss, or Abyss, 
uh, uh, August 1st, Imaginary Theater. So it's like almost like every week or every, yeah, every two weeks. Second half of August, Abyss, and then first half of September, I'm assuming the theater will come back. All right. So yeah, there we go. We got a resin increase. We got more, a little bit more primos, and we have a second end game. We'll see how it goes though, because it's kind of an interesting take on it. With like, you can only play the certain characters, but yeah, I also don't like the abyss schedule being cut down. Like, I get it, but yeah. Actually, no. You're getting two end game, t- two end games now. So Royal Abyss is eight hundred. Currently, you get twelve hundred if you gain thirty six stars. It'll be eight hundred Spiral and six twenty Imaginary Theater. So okay, so overall it is a little bit more. It's two hundred and twenty more. And then your first time, okay. I wasn't sure if it was gonna be like that. Yeah, I mean, I think it'll. Because the Abyss only resets the 1st and the 16th. So it's every two weeks. So it's basically almost the same. It's just not Abyss. It's also the other mode, too. Yeah, Wolfie is he's, he's too much. <laughs> Wolfie's amazing. Best part. Hmm. Uh, probably it's getting boring for me, so thank God. Yeah, it's, it's, that's, that's going to be actually something, uh, something different. We'll see how it plays out. With the whole trial character thing. I mean, you don't have to put the trial character, but yeah, it is very reminiscent of the last thing, which is interesting because there was some comments talking about how that one they wanted to be permanent. And now I, I guess in a way it kind of is. But yeah, the coolest part for me is you actually get um like billets and stuff like that. You get other rewards that you usually don't get in any other way. <laughs> permanent end game and it's a combat event. It's not Serenity Teapot. Mistake, Loran can unleash two different types of special attacks. Her normal attacks will be converted into swift hunt pistolet attacks, and her elemental skill will be converted into a lunging attack. In That's the like of the night. seven and a half seconds. Looks like Clarion gains a That's pretty short. Bond of life during her elemental skill. Does the skill have any additional effects? No, oh, good. And I mean, I, I guess maybe it's a good thing, I guess, because it'll be more quick swappy. You won't be stuck on the character. Guys, those swift hunt pistol attacks. It just, well, what, what, it depends on how long the cooldown is. If the cooldown is long, then that's then it's not good. But if the cooldown is short, then it, then it's fine. Grease Cloran's bond of life. If she has a and long a cooldown, attack, then it's not impale good. the knight will clear the bond of life. I mean, it'll still be this will be usable, of course, but hand, and then clears it with the other. You okay. just don't want to be sitting there for a long time waiting for it to come back. That's a really good explanation. Yeah, Cloran's special attacks have different effects hmm. depending on the value of her. But she is an electro character, so. I was going to say, yeah, she, she is an Electro character, so... I mean, if it, you want the Bottom of Life set, the, the new Bottom of Life Ar- Ar- Arlequino set, but if you want to have some fun, you can head back to Mondstadt and get some Thundering Fury pieces. That actually will be a viable option. Monsters. This ability I think I'm going to do that, because that's going to be fun. Switch. 